Chargers and Raiders are, are two other teams here too, Jeff, who control their own destiny. They're going to collide in week 18. It's a win and end showdown uh, on Sunday in the Sin City. Uh, right now, which way are you leaning in this game, Jeff? I just take the, the plus money with the Raiders. Um, I just take the team that's that's being undervalued at home here. I, look, I, I mean, I do think the Chargers are probably the slightly better team, but I don't think that they're the better team over Vegas by three points on the road to be favored by three points on the road. I think that's just an overreaction. Uh, I think Derek Carr is a competent quarterback, and we've seen the Chargers. I mean, you know, they gave up 190 yards to, to Travis Kelsey. You know, like the Raiders can move the ball. They have some weapons with, with Hunter Renfro. I think at the very least, this game probably comes down to the last possession. I don't think the Chargers have a defense that are just going to blow out or, or shut out the Raiders. So I just take the plus three or maybe even the money line on the Raiders. Okay, Pierce, Chargers, yes to make the playoffs, minus 150, no, plus 120. Oh, I would take yes. I'd go even higher. I would see what, what are the odds for them to win the AFC, maybe even win the Super Bowl. I'm not a big Chargers fan. I've said plenty of times that they're fraudulent, but they have the weapons. If they could just piece everything together, they are a team that could get hot offensively and really do some damage throughout the playoffs. They have the weapons, the, all, the receivers, the running backs. They have the quarterback. The defensive scheme sometimes blows up in their face by giving up too many rushing yards, but it is a bend but don't break defense, so that can work. We saw them go to Cincinnati, take advantage of some turnovers, and win some big games. I mean, if any team is a long shot that could get hot, it would definitely be the Chargers. Okay, so Chargers right now to win the AFC, plus 1,600 on the DK Sportsbook. Yeah. To win the Super Bowl, they're plus 3,500. Uh, Maddie, to make playoffs, let's look at the Steelers' side here. No, minus 125. Yes, plus 105. Yeah, I think that the, the – okay, the Raiders side. Yeah, I got confused for yep. a second. I think yeah, no, it's, a, it's a lot of numbers. It's betting, I know. <laughs> It's looking at the Steelers, like they're still in it, but that I'm going to take no if those are the odds. Um, yeah, I, I think that both of these guys have alluded to kind of what I'm thinking, where the Raiders and the Chargers are just both really, really inconsistent. And I have no idea what, like, I could see either team winning by three touchdowns in this game, even though it's supposed to be this game where it's close and it's for the playoffs and everything's on the line and it's going to be a good football game, right? Like, how many times have we expected a good game where just one team doesn't show up? Um, but I also think, yeah, like the Chargers can make a run to the Super Bowl because they just have so much talent. They're just really bad at utilizing their talent, it seems, at least this year. And their defense is really bad most of the time. Um, I think the Chargers probably win. I think three is probably too high of a line. But I really think this game could go any number of ways just because these are two, two probably of the most inconsistent teams in the NFL. 